subscribe to our channel and check out our mobile machine learning courses at udemy links are given in the description welcome to this lecture in this lecture we are gonna start training our first image recognition model and that is recognizing different fruits so we are gonna train a model which will be able to recognize different fruits like apple bananas watermelon and so on but in order to train such model, we need a data set. So we need images of such fruits so that we can train a model and then later we can use that model inside our Android application. So in order to train a fruit recognition model, we need a lot of images of fruits. So if you want to recognize four different types of fruits, for example, apple, bananas, orange and watermelon then you need some images of all of these four fruits so where we're gonna get those images so the one way is capturing and collecting the images by ourselves and the other way is using an existing data set and we're gonna do that so we're gonna use an existing fruits data set and then we're gonna train our model and use that trained model inside our android application to recognize different fruits and we're gonna take that data set from kaggle kaggle is the world largest data science repository and it contains a number of data sets that you can use for free so let's firstly go to kaggle and download that data set so open your browser and type kaggle there then press enter and here you need to click on this first link and it will gonna take you to the official page of Kaggle. So that is the default or home page for Kaggle and here we're gonna search for our data set as we are looking for a fruits data set. So just type fruit here and press enter and there you can see that we have several different results here but above that we have these sections as we are looking for data sets so just click on this data set button so now it is showing us all the data sets for example this first data set it is 8 gb in size so it contains quite a large number of images but the one we're gonna use is present below so when you scroll down so I guess our data set is present at the second page so just move to the second page and here when you scroll down again you will find this data set this data set which is 248 MB in size so just click on it and now the page for this data set is opened here and you can find different details related to that data set for example inside this data explorer you will find the structure of this data set so it contains this folder FIDS30 and inside that we have several different folders. So apple folder contains all the images of apples and banana folder contains all the images of bananas and same is the case with other folders. So now we're gonna download this data set so that we can train our model on that data set. So just click on this download button. And now it is showing me a download pop-up but before that you need to attach your Google or Facebook account with the Kaggle so if you don't attach it it will gonna show you a pop-up where you can choose the account you want to attach and after that you can start the downloading so now let's wait for our downloading to be complete so now our file is downloaded successfully so just unzip it And now let's open this folder and inside this folder you can see that we have two folders. The first one is FIDS30 and the second one is this fruits folder. So let me firstly open this FIDS30 folder and inside that you can see that we have all these folders and these are the fruit images. So apple folder contain all different images of apples and same is the case with other folder as it contain the images of respect fruit so now we need to train our model on that data set and how we are gonna do that so in order to train the model we are gonna use a platform named teachable machine this platform enable us to train our image classification model with just few clicks so open your browser again and here type teachable machine so here click on this first link so that is the home page for Teachable Machine Platform and it enables us to train machine learning model on images, sounds and poses. 
As we are interested in images, so now let's click on this get started button. And there you can see different features or options it provides. So we are interested in image project, so just click on it. So now here we are gonna upload the images of our data set and train the model. And for each class present inside our data set, we need to create a class here. For example, we want to recognize five different types of fruits, then we need to create five different classes here. And we need to rename these classes to the name of fruit. So for example, inside our data set, the first folder is with the name of apples. So I will rename it to apples. And similarly, you need to rename other classes as well. And by clicking on this add a class button, we will add other classes here. Then we will rename them. So let me do that process and you repeat it for your case. So now I created these 10 classes here. So here you can see that we have the classes for each of the fruits present inside our data set. So after that we need to upload the images inside these classes one by one. So here for this apple class just click on this upload button. And here you need to drag the images present inside our apple folder. So open our data set and here let's go inside this apples folder. And I'm gonna choose all the images present here. Then I will drag them on the web page. So let's drag them and just paste them here. And now you can see that all the Apple images are uploaded inside this Apple's class. And we need to repeat the process for all other fruits. So for example, for this bananas, we need to upload banana images. So just click on this upload button and upload all the banana images here. So let me do that. And you should pause the lecture and upload the images by yourself. So now I uploaded the images in all these folders. So here you can see that and hopefully you have done it by yourself and now we need to train the model so in order to train the model we need to click on this train model button so let me click on it and now here you can see that preparing training data so it involves a couple of steps so once the training will be completed this preview section and export button will be enabled so let's wait for our training to be finished so now the training of our model is completed and here you can see that this export model button is enabled and there you can see that the live footage so you can test the model here and the one option to test is using live footage and the other option is using the images so here you can see that you can choose either a file or webcam so let's choose this file for now and here we will upload an image to test the model so click on this choose images from your file and here let me choose this watermelon image and here let's see the results so there you can see that our model think it is a watermelon so our model is working correctly similarly you can test the model by downloading images from net and passing it or uploading it here so now let's download this model so that we can use this model inside our application so click on this export model button and there you will have several options so we're gonna download this model inside our tensorflow light format so that we can use it so choose tensorflow light here now you have the three options here floating point quantize and hgpu so keep it floating point as the quantized model will be less in size but the accuracy will be slightly lower than floating point so i will choose floating point here and click on this download my model button and this model will be downloaded in a moment. So now our model is downloaded successfully. So let me open it. And now here you can see that it contained two folders. The first one is this label.txt which is the label or fruits names. And the second one is model.tflight file which is our model. So now we have our trained model and our first section of this course is completed which is 
we successfully trained an image recognition model. So this model will be able to recognize different types of fruit. Similarly, you can get other types of data from Kaggle and you can train the model to recognize different things. And training the model is quite simple as you have seen. So now in the next section, we are gonna use this model and label file inside our application. So see you in the next lecture. If you want to build machine learning based Android applications, then check out our mobile machine learning courses at Udemy. Links are given in the description.